Welcome to Travel a la Mode. We've just flown in from Philadelphia, and today we're going to explore Bermuda, an island of colonial mansions, spectacular golf courses, cricket matches, pink beaches, and 20 mile an hour speed limits. And the best part, no rental cars. An island so kicked back and relaxed, you can even wear shorts with a tie. So sit back as Travel a la Mode does Bermuda. We're here in Bermuda with our friends at Fantasy Bermuda. And when it comes to fun on the island, these are the guys to talk to. They do it all. Diving, snorkeling, glass bottom boat. They even have the largest chartered catamaran on the island. You know, many people think of Bermuda as an island of lush jungles, waterfalls, and steep volcanoes. But they're wrong. Bermuda is elegant, gentrified, and, well, pretty. It's about civility and culture, cricket, afternoon tea, and money. It's one of the wealthiest countries in the world with an average per capita income of more than $36,000. No major crime, no sales tax, and best of all, no income tax. No wonder everyone is so happy. We're here at the Fairmont Hamilton Princess, which many travelers consider Bermuda's best address. Around here, it's known as the Pink Palace. I'm sure you can see why. It's the oldest hotel on the island and sits directly on Hamilton Harbor and the capital city. The Fairmont Hamilton Princess has been here for 120 years. We were opened in 1885, and since that time, with our location on the inner harbor here in Hamilton, uh, we've been the host of cultural events, very important social events throughout the course of that time. And this is our heritage wall. It speaks to the history of the hotel. Harley Trot, who built the hotel in 1885, inspired by Princess Louise and named after her the princess. Oh, now here's a face I recognize. Yes, Mr. Mark Twain, frequent visitor to the hotel, used to regale our guests with his poetry and stories on the veranda. He used to visit us with Woodrow Wilson. And here's Winston Churchill, who during the Second World War placed Bermuda as one of the key elements of his intelligence network. Calling the resort upscale is an understatement. The Fairmont Hamilton Princess is pure luxury. We keep one thing in mind, and that is uh, we always want to create uh, memories, uh, fond memories of the hotel, and we want to be a place uh, in your heart. The hotel is also right around the corner from the core of the city's business center, so it attracts travelers from the U.S., Canada, the U.K., and from around the world. As Bermuda has grown into an international business center in the last 10 years, Hamilton Princess has grown along with it in terms of convention facilities and state-of-the-art technology uh, to service the needs of the clients that come here for business. Among British society, you can often judge the caliber of a property by the quality of its high tea. At the Hamilton Princess, high tea is world famous. But if your idea of having a good time is sinking a ball in a cup rather than drinking from one, not to worry. There's no shortage of things to do at the Pink Palace or at the Fairmont Southampton across the bay, which you can reach via the hotel's complimentary ferry. The Fairmont Hamilton Princess is timeless. Come see for yourself why the Pink Palace is Bermuda's best address. Check this out. Behind me is the Fairmont Southampton, which symbolizes the new spirit of Bermuda and sits on the highest point on the island. It's a blend of traditional and tropical charm and one of the world's top luxury resorts. It's rated by Golf Digest as one of the best places to play. The Fairmont Southampton is uh, Bermuda's largest hotel, and uh, we have there 593 rooms. We sit at the highest point, uh, commanding views of the ocean, on both sides of the hotel. As you notice, all of our rooms do have balconies and every room has a uh, very nice water view. It's hard not to have a perfect day at the Fairmont Southampton, a secluded sandy beach, adventure water sports, golf, tennis, or nothing at all. Here and here at the Fairmont Southampton, we're surrounded by water. We stretch from coast to coast 
and our guests just love to get out on the water. There is so, so very much to do. Uh, head out jet skiing. You can go jump on a snorkel boat and go scuba and snorkeling and uh, just kayak around the bay if you so desire. And of course, there's the beach, tennis, golf. Well, the golf course is 18 holes. It's a par three executive course. Very challenging, very deceptive, and very, very beautiful. The views are absolutely amazing. We have the main resort pool where there's live entertainment down there every day and a great place for you to bring your kids. We have a little slide there for the kids and waiting pool for them. And parents can just sort of linger along and, and just relax and, and enjoy the ambiance as well. Something for everybody. Something for everybody. The hotel is famous for the renowned Willow Stream Spa, known for its facials, body wraps, and aromatherapy treatments. We are able to offer you the very best in treatments, everything from hot stones to uh, the full gamut of massages and facials and pedicures and anything that you can think of to be pampered and relaxing. And uh, while that's all happening, while you're here for the day, you head on out to the spa pool and enjoy the jacuzzis and the fantastic and amazing view. And a fitness center as well. State-of-the-art fitness center that also, you know, if, if you could look out that window and see the view from the treadmill, you'd want to work out every day. And to cap off your perfect day, the Fairmont Southampton offers some of the finest restaurants on the island. There are seven restaurants and bars at the hotel, including Casual Eating, Romantic Whaler Inn, the 375-year-old Waterlot Inn, and the Four Diamond Newport Room. Perfect days and even better nights. Fairmont Southampton, the new spirit of Bermuda. We're back with our friends at Fantasy Bermuda, located right at All Boys Point. We got a full range of activities. Everything to see the island from the top to the bottom. All right, as car sailing as you experienced today, and uh, all the way from kayaking to biking to snorkeling, right down to scuba diving. You can go out and explore any of the over 400 shipwrecks that uh, surround our island. And uh, we also have some more laid back ways of sightseeing as well. We have a 55 foot catamaran. We do sunset cruises on there or private charters or snorkel trips. All right. Uh, the Looking Glass is our glass bottom boat. It's actually one of the longest running glass bottom boats in Bermuda. Right now we're running a triangle shipwreck snorkel, which is a three hour trip with glass bottom viewing uh, with snorkeling combined. Uh, that way if you don't want to get wet, suddenly you don't have to. Take it from me, from diving to boating to parasailing, you can't help but have a blast with Fantasy Bermuda. This is the famous Ariel Sands. It's owned by the Dill family, one of Bermuda's oldest clans. Now, if the Dill name sounds familiar, it's because Diane Dill Webster was once married to the legendary Kirk Douglas and is the mother of actor Michael Douglas, an investor and a frequent visitor to the resort. The Dill family has been here in Bermuda since 1645 was when they originally arrived from Northern Ireland. And 1954, they developed this property on the South Shore as uh, Ariel Sands Beach Club. Michael Douglas is one of the many Dill family uh, who were involved in Ariel Sands. If was ever down here, if they're down visiting, they'll usually, if Michael's in, on, on island, they'll tie up with Michael, and Michael will usually bring them over here. And Danny DeVito's been here, Jack Nicholson. Guests kind of love seeing uh, celebrities, they love it. Ariel Sands, which gets its name from the character in Shakespeare's The Tempest, has been recognized by both Condé Nast Johansson and Travel and Leisure as being one of the world's best resorts. We're in right now, we're in Prospero, which is you know, a key player in, in The Tempest. Our statue Ariel is, uh, of course, tied in the sea nymph in The Tempest. Being right on the ocean, you know, they felt that that would be a perfect setting, perfect fit. We have two saltwater pools uh, on our property, in addition to our freshwater pool. Um, I think they're just the greatest thing I've, I've ever seen. Unlike the Tempest, you won't find any turmoil here. Aerial Sands. Doesn't get any better than this. Tell them Michael Douglas sent you. 
And now for a little history on a fashion trend found only here on the island of Bermuda. The Bermuda shorts themselves are, came from the British military. And the uh, British, when they were in India, realized that the long trousers that they were wearing out there was way too hot. And they said, how on earth are we going to survive? So a couple of the chaps in the quartermaster stores just chopped off the bottom of their pants. And the next thing you know, they were being stationed to, in Bermuda, and they thought, well, wait, that's another hot place. So all these handsome British military guys came off the boat, all wearing their shorts, and the Bermudian ladies were whistling and ooing and eyeing. And all of a sudden, a couple of the Bermudian gentlemen who owned shops in Hamilton saw what this was doing to the ladies, and they thought, you know what, this could be a nice new fashion trend. The world-famous shorts have been declared the correct national dress for just about every occasion. You see them here, there, everywhere. There seem to be specific rules for, the, for the outfit. Specific Tell rules. us about that. Well, the first thing you have to think of is the socks. The socks are knee socks that turn down, if you notice. The sock must be three inches below the middle of the knee. So you pull out a ruler every morning and make sure it's nope. uh, three inches? <laughs> Thank goodness, I don't have to do that anymore. <laughs> and the other bit of tradition is indeed the tie. There must be a color that coordinates from the tie with the shorts. The idea is if you're wearing a dark blazer, dark knee socks with light color, solid shorts. And with these tips, you'll look dapper on your next trip to Bermuda. Coming to an island like Bermuda, paying a la carte for all the drinks and the food and the activities can cost you an arm and a leg, but not at the Harmony Club. Harmony Club is extremely special because of its size, its ambiance, the fact that it's Bermuda's only all-inclusive, the fact that it's the only hotel on the island that um, we have adults only, it's 18 years and over, no kids, and the fact that the clients pay one price and everything is included. Room, meals, drinks, all taxes and gratuities. It's very relaxed and laid back. You can come, you can just enjoy yourself. You don't have to worry about what, what you're going to do that day or where you're going. And the staff is terrific. They make you feel like you're at home. You know, other all-inclusive resorts that we've visited on previous trips have been unimaginative and drab. But this hotel is different. We've got really nice um, recreational areas, swimming pool, hot tub, sauna, um, and a new massage room that we're creating as well. So they just love the fact that, that they're just right off the beaten track and they're in this really, really scenic, beautiful oasis of a property that is very affordable to all. We're really known for our gardens. As a matter of fact, um, Harmony Club actually won the award for best gardens a year ago. The fantastic smell of the flowers, the hibiscus, the petunias in this garden are fantastic, all the colors. There are many attractions on the island, as you know, um, from as far west as Dock here to the west, to St. George's, which is a scenic town, all the way into the east, um, the Crystal Caves as well. Um, but a lot of our clients actually love the fact that they can go golfing, they can go scuba diving, they can go to the beach and just relax and do nothing all day. The Harmony Club is owned by Bermuda Resort Hotels, which also runs three other popular resorts on the island. The company also operates the Great Bay Beach Hotel, which formerly used to be the White Sands. Um, fantastic new restaurant um, by, by the name of Sapori. Very, very affordable hotel, also on the beach. And Great Bay Beach is really one of the best beaches on the island. The company also operates the Wharf Executive Suites Hotel and it's probably unique in a sense that it's the only hotel in Bermuda that is really geared towards the extended stay corporate client. So you find that he's sitting on this magnificent view right overlooking Hamilton Harbor. They're seven minutes away by ferry to, to Hamilton itself and it's a very, very comfortable group of suites that we have at the wharf. Now we're off to the Surfside Beach Club, owned by the same people who own the Harmony Club. This is the Surfside Beach Club, an unpretentious hideaway cut into the side of a rugged cliff. It's very reminiscent of Italy's Amalfi Coast and towns like Positano, don't you think? Bryony, what is it about the Surfside that people fall in love with? I think firstly it's, it's that we have a great location here. Uh, we have stunning ocean views and every room we have has panoramic views over the ocean. And as you see, our reefs are quite close in. 
and you don't have to be an Olympic swimmer to get there to snorkel, so uh, it's almost walking distance. The Surfside comes highly recommended by Condi Nast Johansson and has 40 picturesque cottages, a lovely pool overlooking the ocean and reefs, and its own private sandy beach. You came here, you said, for six months and ended up staying. Originally, I came to Bermuda for six months, yes, and it just turned into a 33-year stint and 33 years at Surfside. It's somewhere where you just have a great feeling. It's a relaxed, laid-back spot, but with all the amenities of a larger hotel. So whether you're staying at the Harmony Club, the Great Bay, Wharf Executive Suites, or the Surfside Beach Club, one thing is for sure. Bermuda Resort Hotels has something for everyone. There's so many great activities to choose from here in Bermuda, we thought we'd give you our top five. Number five, exploring the island's undersea wrecks. Number four, swimming at Horseshoe Bay. Number three, hitting the perfect sand shot. Number two, Harbor Nights. Hamilton's Front Street comes alive with Bermudian culture on Wednesday evenings in the summer. And number one, parasailing with the guys at Fantasy Bermuda. In addition to its perfect beaches and temperate climate, Bermuda is a major international business center where 75% of the world's Fortune 500 companies have a presence. It's created a financial services sector second to none. There's a lot of interest in Bermuda. HSBC recently acquired Bank of Bermuda. Citigroup recently acquired a presence here. So there's a lot of interest in Bermuda in the financial services sector. And I think um, having these household names here uh, lends great credibility to the island in this regard. We are very pleased with the current trend uh, of growth in hedge funds in Bermuda. Um, currently, our net asset value stands at $115 billion. Um, that is 25% increase over last year, and it compares with the 15% industry average uh, globally. So we are 10% ahead of the game, and we're very happy with that. We've been in the business of international business for 40 years. We've had a lot of time to get things right. We are politically and economically stable. We are well regulated. We are, have a clean bill of health with the OECD. We have a workforce that is very talented and capable of undertaking a lot of very sophisticated transactions. Business is booming in Bermuda, as uh, many tourists will see when they walk about Hamilton. Um, and this is an evidence of our success and the fact that we are in a growth period as far as our financial services and insurance uh, industry is concerned. And we're gratified to see that. And um, I think it adds a lot of dynamism to the island to see all this new construction and landscaping and everybody working. And, and it's, a, it's a very dynamic city at the moment. Over $100 billion in assets, more than 100 funds to choose from, a balanced approach to regulation and a stable economy makes Bermuda a premier international jurisdiction of choice. When business comes to Bermuda, an overwhelming favorite is the award-winning Rosedon Hotel. It's a small, relaxed property steeped in old-world elegance. Condé Nast Johansson has named it one of the three top outstanding hotels in North America and Bermuda, and its general manager was recently named Hotelier of the Year by Bermuda Magazine. Even though we're so close to the city, when you're at Rose, do you feel like you're in somebody's garden estate? So to be able to be so close to work, yet to be able to get away at the end of a day to a tranquil garden setting where you're taken care of by wonderful warm Bermudian staff who are basically the number one choice for business travelers to Bermuda. One of the main reasons is because of our excellent location. We're in walking distance to the city of Hamilton and consequently we're very close to the hot rub of business in Bermuda. What keeps guests coming back year after year is the Rosedon's old Bermuda authenticity. Here, afternoon tea and quiet strolls are daily rituals. In previous years, the hotel year of the year was always selected from a very large property. So I thought it was quite an accomplishment for a property as small as Roseton, with limited facilities, albeit that they are beautiful, to be recognized for the level of excellence and service that we deliver. There's really no reason to stay any place else. So whether you're coming to Bermuda on business or pleasure, make sure you give Muriel a call. The Roseton Hotel. Well, that about does it for today's show, and I really hate to leave. 
but it's no big deal because U.S. Airways has plenty of flights in with connections through Charlotte, North Carolina, Boston, and Philadelphia. It's only two hours from New York and about an hour from the Mid-Atlantic, so getting here has never been easier. For Travel a la Mode, I'm Enya Flack. Thanks for watching.